Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, we are going to see the numerical problems related to Nernst equation. In my previous video, I have already explained how we can derive the Nernst equation. In examination, numerical problems are oftenly asked. So in this video, we are going to see some important numerical problems that are frequently asked in the examination as well. So let's start. So this is the question of the first numerical problem that is calculate the emf of the cell we need to calculate the emf of the cell the cell notation is given over here in the left side there is zinc that is converting to zinc ion which concentration is given to be 0.001 m this double vertical line represents there is a salt bridge in the cell and in the right side there is silver ion whose concentration is given to be 0.1 m that is converting to silver metal and two given conditions are given there so the first one is the standard electrode potential of silver metal or silver electrode is given to be 0.80 volt and that of zinc metal or zinc electrode is given to be minus 0.76 volt first of all let's write the given values given e naught ag plus ag is given to be how much 0.80 volt and similarly e naught uh, Z and 2 plus converting to Z and is given to be minus 0 0.76 volt. So these are the two given values. First of all, we need to calculate the standard electrode potential of the cell and that can be calculated by using a formula that is E naught cell is equal to E naught cathode minus E naught anode. Now, if we have the value of the standard electrode potential of the two halves or simply the cell notation then we can easily know which one is anode and which one is cathode or which one is oxidation half and which one is reduction half if we have the cell notation the left side is always of the oxidation half and the right side is always of the reduction half similarly you can say that the left side is always of the anode and the right side is always of the cathode now if we don't have the cell notation then also we can know easily among them compare which one is greater value the greater value will always be of cathode and smaller value will always be of anode so in this way we can know which one is cathode and which one is anode now let's put the values over here this is 0 0.80 minus minus 0 0.76 and if we solve it 0 0.80 minus minus gives us plus 0 0.76 if we add it will get 1.56 volt so this is the value of the standard electrode potential of the cell now moving to the next step that is to write the redox reaction of the cell for that we need to know what type of reaction is happening at anode and what type of reaction is happening at cathode so at anode at anode zinc is losing two electrons and it is converting to zinc ion right so zinc is losing two electron and it is converting to zinc ion this is solid this is aqueous similarly at cathode that is in the right side over here silver metal ion is gaining electron and it is converting to silver now look at here there are two electrons so there will be two electrons over here now to challenge to, to balance the charge we need to put two over here and two over here right this is aqueous and this is solid now the overall reaction now the overall reaction can be obtained by just adding them if we add them these two electron two electron will get cancelled out because they are on the opposite side of this uh, reversible sign and we get zn plus 2 ag plus giving us zn2 plus plus 2 ag so this is the overall reaction now we can apply the Nernst equation using Nernst equation what is the formula of Nernst equation look at here E cell is equal to E naught cell E naught cell means standard electrode potential of the cell minus 2.303 RT by NF log the concentration of the product side by the concentration of the reactant side so here it will be zn 
2 plus into ag now look at here there is 2 in front of ag this is the stoichiometric coefficient and this will come as the power divide by the reactant part that is zn into ag plus and here also there will be 2 because 2 is the stoichiometric coefficient over here now we need to put the values e naught cell means how much 1.56 1.56 minus look at here this much value except n there is 2.303 rt by f r means universal gas constant whose value is 8.31 t is the absolute temperature now in this case the temperature is not given and if the temperature is not given we need to consider the temperature to be 25 degrees celsius that is the standard temperature or 298 kelvin so we need to put the value of t to be 298 kelvin and this f means faraday's constant faraday's constant has a value that is 96500 coulomb so if you put the value of rt and f and multiply it by 2.303 then we get a value that is 0.05 91 by n yeah 0 0.0591 by n n means sorry look at here n means how many electrons are involved in this reaction 2 so it will be log z n 2 plus by a g plus whole square now you might be wondering why didn't i write this and this value a g and z n are solid and their concentration is taken as one so we can simply neglect these two and we get this much of values now let's put the values again 1.56 minus if we divide this by 2 we will get 0 0.02955 minus sorry into log the concentration of Zn2 plus ion is given to be 0 0.001, 0, sorry we do not need to write 0 0.001 by the concentration of sil uh, silver electrode is given to be how much 0 0.1 square. Now if we put the, these values in the calculator then we can directly get the answer and that answer is 1.58955 volt. So this is the value of the electrode potential of the cell when the concentration of zinc electrode is given to be 0 0.0 sorry zinc ion is given to be 0 0.001 m and that of silver ion is given to be 0 0.1 m so this is how we solve a numerical problem like this now let's see another numerical problem the question of this numerical problem is the emf of the cell the cell notation is given over here zinc is converting to zinc ion whose concentration is given to be 0 0.1 m this double line obviously represents a salt bridge and in the right side there is cadmium ion whose concentration is given to be m1 that is unknown value and that is converting to cadmium solid has been found to be 0.3305 volt at 298 kelvin calculate the value of m1 now in this case we need to calculate the value of m1 and the given conditions are standard electrode potential of both the electrodes are provided now how to calculate let's see that solution first of all we need to calculate the standard electrode potential of the overall cell right so first of all let's write given values given e naught z n 2 plus z n is given to be how much minus 0 0.76 volt similarly e naught c d 2 plus c d is given to be minus 0 0.40 volt let's calculate the value of E naught cell. How will we calculate? Yes, the formula is E naught cathode minus E naught anode. I have already told you there are two ways to know which one is cathodic reaction and which one is anodic reaction. See the values. The greater value will always be of cathode and the smaller value will always be of anode. Or you can see the cell notation. The left side always represents anode and the right side always represents cathode. So let's put the values now in the cathode part there is cadmium right so 0 0.40 volt minus there will be minus 76 volt let's put the values now minus 0 0.40 minus minus plus 0 0.76 how much will it be 0 0.36 volt right we get this much now the second step is to write the general redox reaction that occurs in the cell right for that we need to write 
the reaction at cathode and at anode at cathode see the right side at cathode reduction reaction happens that means gain of electrons so it will form cd right at a node oxidation reaction happens that is loss of electrons so it will be zn zn 2 plus plus 2 electrons actually i should be writing this first i have written this in reverse okay for overall reaction for overall reaction we need to add them and if we add them this two electron two electron will get cancelled out and it will give us zn plus cd2 plus and it will form zn2 plus plus cd so this is the overall reaction that occurs in the cell now finally we can use the notched equation let's use the notched equation using notched equation what is the formula of notched equation the cell is equal to a not cell minus 2.303 rt by nf into log the concentration part of the product that is zn2 plus cd by zn cd2 plus so we get this value right here in this case e cell is given that is 0. 3305 volt is equal to E not cell we already calculated that is 0. 0.36 volt minus this much value as a constant value that is 0. 0.0591 by n means 2 log we can simply neglect this CD and ZN because their concentration will be 1 right now we can put the value of concentration of this zinc ion and cadmium ion respectively the value of the concentration of zinc ion is 0 0.1 and that of cadmium ion is given to be m1 right that we need to calculate now it can further be written as 0 0.3305 is equal to 0 0.36 minus in this place we could write 2 and if we divide we can easily get 0 0.2955 similarly we can write log 0 0.1 by m1 right now see there is a negative value to make it positive we need to take this value to this side and this value to that side so we'll get 0 0.2955 log 0 0.1 by m1 is equal to 0 0.36 minus this value will go that side 0 0.3305 we get this much or log 0 0.1 by m1 if we subtract then we will directly get 0 0.0295 divide by and if we take this value to this side 0 0.2955 then this will give us 1 or log 0 0.1 by m1 is equal to 1. Now to remove this log we need to put anti log on both the side and if we put anti log on both the side this log will re be removed so it will be 0 0.1 by m1 is equal to anti log anti log of 1 and anti log of 1 means how much 0 0.1 by m1 is equal to anti log of 1 is 10 now if we solve it and find the value of m1 we will directly get the value of m1 to be 0 0.01 m so this is the required value of m1 that is the concentration of the cadmium electrode that is given to be 0.01 m so this is how we solve this type of numerical problem now let's see one more very important numerical problem for the examination the question of this numerical problem is a galvanic cell consists of two electrodes there are two electrodes one is made up of zinc another one is made up of lead zinc electrode is immersed in 0.1 m zinc ion solution and lead electrode in 0.02 m lead ion solution so they are immersed in respective ion solutions having different concentrations now we need to calculate the emf of the cell at 298 kelvin that we calculate by using nost equation and also we need to write the cell notation of this given cell the given conditions are the standard electrode potential of zinc electrode is given to be minus 0.76 volt and that of lead electrode is given to be minus 0.13 volt so let's start the solution first of all let's write the given values given e naught 
Zn2 plus Zn is given to be minus 0 0.76 volt. Similarly, E0 Pb2 plus Pb is given to be minus 0 0.13 volt. Now, let's calculate the value of E0 cell that we are calculating to get the value of E cell by using Nord's equation. It will be E0 cathode minus E0 anode. Now, we need to know which one is cathode and which one is anode. I have already told you how we can know. If the cell notation is not given, then we need to see the values. Which one is greater value that will always behave as cathode and which one is smaller value that will always behave as anode. So, here among them, which one is greater value? This is greater value, right? So, this is behaving as cathode and this one is smaller value. So, this will behave as anode. So let's put the values now minus 0 0.13 volt minus minus 0 0.76 volt right now let's add them how much will we get minus 0 0.13 volt plus 0 0.76 volt and if we add them we will directly get plus 0 0.63 volt so this is the value of e naught cell now as we know that which one is anode and which one is cathode we can write the anode reaction and cathode reaction right so at anode whatever reaction will happen this is the anodic part right zinc so zinc will lose two electrons because at anode oxidation ha reaction happens oxidation reaction means loss of electrons this is in solid form this is in aqueous form similarly at cathode lead ion will gain these two electrons furnished by the zinc metal and it will convert to lead this is solid this is aqueous now overall reaction overall reaction is overall reaction is simply the sum of the reaction halves right so let's add them it will be zn plus pb2 plus this electron electron will get cancelled out and we get zn2 plus plus pb so this is the overall reaction now we can write the cell notation from here as well the cell notation what is the cell notation how do we write it i have already told you in the left part we write the anodic part that is oxidation half and in the right side we write the cathodic part or the or the reduction half so first of all we need we need to write the anode in anode zinc at solid is converting to what zinc ion this is in aqueous whose concentration is given that is 0 0.1 m 0 0.1 m right there will be a double vertical line because there is a salt bridge it is not saying but, but there will be a salt bridge over there and in the cathode lead ion pb2 plus whose concentration is given to be 0 0.02 m is converting to lead that is in solid so this is the cell notation of this cell this is one of the answer that we wanted here we have already written the cell notation okay now let's use the nonst equation in order to find the value of the emf of the cell using nonst equation the nonst equation is E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 RT by and F log the concentration part of the product here it is given to be ZN2 plus into PB by ZN PB2 plus right let's put the values now E naught cell means 0 0.63 volt 0 0.63 minus the value of this much part is obviously how much 0 0.0591 by n means two electrons there are two electrons migrating from anode to cathode so we can simply write two over here log we can neglect these two values because they are solid and the concentration of solid is one and we can write z and two plus by pb two plus now let's put the values over here 0 0.63 minus if we divide over here then how much will we get 0 0.02955 log the concentration of zinc is given to be 0 0.1 0 0.1 by 0 0.02 and if we just put all these values in the calculator and 
then we can easily get the value and that value is 0 0.6093 volt so this is the value of the electrode potential of the cell at given concentrations so in this video we saw three numerical problems that are very important for examination i hope you understood all the numerical problem please practice all those numerical problems very carefully that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video